break with some news here. I've got some breaking news. The Department of Justice Inspector General, of course, we just referred to this reporting, releasing that explosive report uh, that led to the immediate firing of former FBI Deputy Director Andrew McCabe. This for those leaks to the media ahead of the 2016 election. I want to go to our panel and discuss this. David Nelson, Bell Point Asset Management's Chief Strategist, Adriana Cohen, syndicated columnist for the Boston Herald and radio host, uh, also Fox News contributor Richard Fowler. Adriana, let me go to you on this. Um, it just it, we should also make sure folks know that this inspector general was appointed by President Obama. This is not a partisan issue and, it, and it's a damning report. Yeah, it certainly is. And, you know, I trust the inspector general. For one, if he wasn't politically neutral, he would never have released the Peter Strzok and Lisa Page damning text. So I trust him. He's absolutely bipartisan. And let's look where we are today. Andrew McCabe lied, not once, but four times. I mean, this guy should be facing a grand jury. And also James Comey. James Comey, under oath, told Congress that he didn't make the decision to not prosecute Hillary Clinton until after the FBI interview interviewed her, but then uh, Senator Chuck Grassley and Lindsey Graham found that he wrote, uh, uh, James Comey wrote an exoneration letter in the FBI clearing Hillary Clinton months before. So it looks very strong like he uh, should be facing perjury charges as well. Right. So this Inspector General report, when we're, we're going to learn more about it, but it is absolutely going to be explosive. And I do believe uh, some people will be convicted as a result of it. Richard Fowler, what's, what should be the most important uh, news item as we go into the weekend? The hype over the Comey book or or this inspector general report that uh, I think will lead to other revelations, important revelations for our nation's security. None of these things should be the most important news story, Charles. The most important news story is the fact that we might be, we, the president, uh, we found out today there's going to be a 7 o'clock lid, so in the next hour there's going to be a major announcement of the White House. It could be possibly bombing Syria. I mean, that is a major news story. Uh, and yet we're focused on what's happening at the FBI. And yes, this is important to the American people, but this also shows that the FBI was biased to both the Clintons and the Trumps. So this ideal that the, the, that the FBI was on the side of Hillary Clinton, they're trying to tip the boat to Hillary Clinton, and the whole Mueller investigation is tainted seems to make no sense to me if they were literally trying if their corruption was engaged in helping or hurting Hillary Clinton so you think then President Trump made the right move by firing Comey yeah I think Comey was a bad guy period but it doesn't take away from the fact that um, you know Mike Flynn was a bad guy or Paul Manafort was a bad guy or now Trump's lawyer Michael Cohen is a bad guy well the, he the, the jury <laughs> remains out on that but yeah uh, well uh, no first for Mike for my uh, for you know for Mike Flynn right. he pled good to no no, no, no I, I mean I mean Cohen <laughs> Cohen it just he and had his office is under but an I don't, criminal investigation. I don't think he's uh, been uh, found guilty of anything or he's pled to anything. But he's under a criminal investigation. Let me bring in David Just Nelson. Like here. McCabe. Let me bring in David Nelson for one second. I'll get to you one second, Katrina. But I want to get your take on this as a sure. professional investor. I think it's starting to take a toll on the markets. We've already seen so many crazy swings in this market that we hadn't seen in years. And that shakes people out. That spooks people. And it doesn't it make the market even more vulnerable? It certainly did Monday. And it's showing up in consumer confidence uh, numbers. The, the numbers were a little weak uh, today. And, and trade and all this news and, and certainly what's taking place in Washington. I think the political and geopolitical aspect of what's hitting the market right now is probably weighing more on, on, on anything. But I'm going to take my financial hat off just for a second. It's disturbing to see this kind of uh, politicization of the FBI and other organizations like this. Clearly, McCabe, you know, is trying to wash his hands like sure. Pontius Pilate at this sure. point. You've always said, though, that you think the biggest threat to this market is uh, the involves Mueller investigation. Mueller, the Absolutely. Mueller investigation. Yeah. What about a Mueller firing or, or, or a Rosenstein firing? Would that hurt the market? Uh, Certainly, initially it would, and it depends on how, how, it, how, it, how it comes out. How the, that unfolds, I think even his closest advisors are right. talking to Trump, trying to talk right. him out of that at this point. Katrina? <laughs> Look, I'll speak for myself personally and no one else, but I think they all should be fired. And the entire FBI and DOJ needs to be cleaned out from the bottom up. Um, and just to talk about bad guys, I don't really see how the FBI, as Richard mentioned, was you know also supporting Trump. You have the director that was fired, now the deputy director that was fired, general counsel that was demoted, uh, Peter Strzok, the director of counterintelligence who was demoted, uh, Lisa Strzok, she was demoted. There are so many people in the FBI at the top um, who've be either been fired or demoted, that's not in any favor Richard, how, of Trump. Richard, how far down the, the organization Katrina, chief you're going to have to go to find someone Katrina, that was helping four Trump? Day, f well, almost five days before the election, 
Cuomo comes out and says Hillary Clinton has more hidden emails. That was damaging but to the Richard, Clinton campaign. But Richard, he only did Even that because the New York Times it. was about to release the information. But that's my he was point, trying to get ahead means, of knowingly that, here, coming out that the it, they were hiding it. Here's the thing. They were time, hiding time, it from the American here, but people. Here, okay. hey, hey, but here's the thing. Times, time and facts matter. And in this particular case, the timing and the fact that there was more emails and when it came out mattered in determining although, how this election panned although, out. Although, Richard, come on, the biggest gift uh, was that press conference he had where he <laughs> all but condemned the hell out of Hillary Clinton I'm not saying and let her stay in the race. Guy. But uh, he had I'm not saying to. Comey's he didn't a good do guy. it. Amazing he how he's didn't gone do from it because he's to, to Let's leave it there, guys. Was uh, as this conversation improves, this thing is roiling everyone, including the markets right now. Thank you all very much. Coming up, good to be big banks, though, posted some impressive